another video uh, from Telmaster on uh, this project what we will be uh, doing and this is also something I would like to show you we will be replacing a steel tub with a brand new similar tub um, in this case we will have a similar tub just a little bit nicer better quality uh, this one is older this is builders grade and, and has some rust some corrosion appearing in a few places and is also chipped so the scope of work for today will be to first of all remove the tub and then uh, install the same uh, I mean similar type new in a place where the old one used to be of course this uh, what it will be uh, required we have to remove the existing one uh, adjust the drain and the overflow uh, and install the, the new tub in place so uh, it will be two videos uh, one will show you how to remove the tub from its position and the uh, second one will uh, show you how to put the tub in so let me uh, start in this clip to, uh, from showing you how to remove uh, existing tub and yes just stay tuned and you will see how this is done the first thing in order to replace the tub will be to eliminate uh, existing walls. Uh, most of the times you will have uh, tiles, some old cement board or green board uh, builders great products that have been uh, often used uh, during uh, builders work and this is something that we already did um, on this particular project uh, so uh, I pretty much what I did I have I have uh, all the drywall cut out uh, all the way around and all tile work is gone uh, so because the reason for that is we have to expose all the edges of the tub we cannot remove the tub without having uh, this sections exposed because the tub is going to get be lifted you will see it in a moment so once uh, uh, the tile work is uh, gone or sometimes you can have a corian or culture marble uh, sitting on top of the walls all of this has to be removed uh, completely in order to easily uh, remove the tub so uh, I'm in a position uh, where all of this has been already done so what I'm going to start from I'm going to of course start from uh, uh, disconnecting drain and overflow because those two elements actually holds tub at this moment so I'm going to start from uh, removing uh, the drain and the overflow in a few seconds um, sometimes what you can uh, the way the tub is installed and actually this is uh, usually how it's supposed to be installed it also supposed to be secured to the studs with a special type of clips that actually lips on on top of this lip and are nailed or screwed down to the stud in this case uh, whoever did the original work they never done that what it means the top been kind of loose or can be uh, shaking uh, on different situation when you're walking in to the tub uh, I'm gonna attach it new tub later but uh, sometimes like I said we can find a nail or screw or this clip actually holding the tub so check for that uh, when you're removing your uh, tub and also uh, the first things will be drain and overflow okay so in order uh, for me to do that of course I will need some tools and um, I have all the tools ready over here so uh, what will be needed will be uh, this tool to disconnect the drain uh, unscrew the drain uh, a flat screwdriver to disconnect the uh, overflow and the uh, Phillips screwdriver might be also needed uh, in this case I have a screw gun so uh, this might be helpful so let's start from disconnecting those pieces and you'll see how it's done all right so I'm ready to disconnect the tub uh, let me start from the uh, overflow piece uh, usually it's held by either one or two screws um, in this case it's only one screw actually that holds this and it's this kind of weird type of drain it has on actually only one hole over here so th once this one is gone 
uh, it, it kind of gets loose. Sometimes you will find actually two screws, additional metal piece bracket, uh, holding this, uh, tightening this to the top. So those screws, of course, will get uh, has to be removed. The next step will be the drain. Um, of course, uh, this is kind of uh, push drain. So this has to be uh, removed. Here uh, we have a screw usually. The, in this case, it's already loose. Uh, so it's easier, but if it's attached, you have to lift it and then unscrew the uh, screw from the side in order to completely eliminate it. Sometimes you can just unscrew the whole thing, uh, like in this case, uh, uh, it's also uh, attached that way. So two options of the removing that element. And uh, the next step will be, of course, to remove and screw the drain. This is the tricky part because it requires special tool. Um, you can play with the two screwdrivers being sticked, but uh, what might happen, you might, uh, if you don't have an appropriate tool, you might break the drain inside. And then, once you will break this, it will be very hard to actually uh, unscrew it. So this is why I'm always using this uh, tool designed for that. It has a four the sections that will actually fit exactly to the holes that we have over there and uh, actually I have to remove this because it's kind of locking my tool doesn't go all the way uh, so I'm gonna unscrew this piece real quick Let's see it goes pretty Move. Okay, and this is the piece that actually been over there. And this screw actually holds this in place. See? All right, never mind. So those are those pieces. Let me uh, unscrew the drain now. Actually this one, I don't know who did that, but it was hardly in place. This was the easy one. Sometimes you have to use quite a bit of the force to actually uh, disconnect it. Uh, as you can see, we have a gasket here and all the elements. So right now I'm checking if the drain got loosed. Yes, there's a movement. We want to make sure that there's a movement between the on the drain, as you can see, and also here. It kind of moves, so it means that it's separated. No any rubber or gasket or silicone uh, is holding this anymore. So at this point, the top is loose, and the next step will be to to lift it. Okay, so. Um, the top is un uns unscrewed, let's say, <laughs> disconnected from the drain, and this is not cast iron. This is a steel top uh, covered with a thin layer of porcelain, uh, kind of glazed, uh, so it's not as heavy. And the way uh, this one will be removed, we're gonna lift it. We're gonna lift this one. Uh, most of the times one person uh, can uh, do it, uh, sometimes uh, two people will be needed just to carry the top from the house. Uh, if we're dealing with a cast iron top, uh, for the cast iron uh, you won't be able just to lift it the way I'm going to show you. The cast iron has to be busted to the pieces and the best way will be to use a sledgehammer to break it into the pieces. So this is maybe one of another projects next time I'm dealing with a cast iron. I will show you uh, how to remove cast iron, but it's pretty much same steps. Uh, the only difference is to uh, actually bust it in a, into, into pieces instead of lifting it. So uh, in this case, uh, uh, we will be lifting it. What might happen, uh, uh, we can lift it either to either side, depends. Uh, on the conditions. Uh, sometimes in order for us to actually uh, remove the tub we might have to eliminate the faucet. Uh, this is the pipe from the faucet so we will have to cut it 
so when lifting the tub and later for the installation the same process uh, there's nothing on the way in this case I will I'm gonna leave it for now I will replace the whole valve and all the pipings later uh, but it can be done afterwards in this case it's not gonna block me because I will be uh, lifting the tub from uh, the other side from here um, in order for me to lift the tub oil, of course I have to have a clear space uh, one of the first thing was to remove the, all the walls so the tub kind of has some play also we have to cut out the drywall uh, with the line of the tub uh, or farther in this case I uh, have a notch so I have to cut it a little bit more because uh, as you can see if I'm trying to lift it actually the egg, uh, edge of the tub hits the drywall so I won't be able to remove it without cutting this a little bit higher and actually let me do it right now and at this moment I'm, I should be able to So yes, so I have this out and it gives me all the uh, movement uh, play that I need. So like I said, these tubs are not that heavy. So what I'm pretty much doing, I'm going to lift from this side the tub and it should come out pretty easily as you can see. It wasn't that difficult. Those tubs are not heavy, and um, and like I said, one person can lift it. But in order to carry the old tub from the uh, from the house, definitely two people. Um, here, what I would like to show you, what usually uh, makes the project harder is this edge. This edge uh, usually fits to all the way to the stud, and if we have the stud in place where this corner is we might have to actually slide the tub out slightly and then lift it because if we have a piece of wood blocking the edge we won't be able to just lift the tub the way I did that uh, if we have such situation the tub has to be pulled out a little bit differently so I'm going to talk to you about it a little bit more later but this is the tub at this moment And, um, and let's see what we've got over here. We don't, we have a support piece that originally been done over here. We have the old drain that we will have to uh, slightly redo it. And this is the subject for uh, the next clip. But in this case, what we did, we focused on removal and the tub is gone so so this is how the space looks right now and um, this is the old one so yeah so we pretty much uh, uh, lifting the tub uh, from the side uh, and once again if we have to lift it from the side where the valve is Often we will have to cut out the faucet pipe or even cut out the valve completely in order to just lift it. So I guess that's it for this clip. The tub is out. Uh, we're going to carry it outside. And on the next video what I will show you, I will show you how to actually prepare the area for the new tub. How to work with the plumbing, how to adjust that part and install all those components, uh, installing the support on the back wall and setting a new tub. So check my channel for um, other clips from this project and you will see it how it's uh, done in a part two. And thank you. See you later.